and honored guests. Today I'd like to make it, uh, I'd like to talk to you about the learning which has changed my life since last three years and continues to do so every day. As a part of management training called Connector, I had a chance to go to Finland to attend this training. And in that training, we played a little game. So we, we were a team of about 20 people, and a part of the game, we were divided into four groups. And the game was, we need to make some decisions iter iteratively, which gave our group some points, some results, and other groups some results. So we were thinking that <coughs> we are competing with other groups. So I was just fresh out of a marketing course in, in University of Dallas. So I applied all this Nash equilibrium and prisoner's dilemma, all this game theory, and made the decision which would maximize our group point and minimize other group point. And surprise, surprise, the other groups did the exact thing. So after we finished playing the game, we found that the objective of the game was to maximize the team points. And as each group just tried to maximize their point, every group got really bad result. As a result, the team result was totally bad. Totally bad. That was really eye-opener for me. Because when I look back, what I've done in my personal life, and professional life, I did the exact thing. I did not know who was my teammate and who was my competitor. And it hurt me really bad because I was the main motivator in my group who motivated them to make that, that kind of decision. For example, in my family life, my wife and myself, when my wife said something not so nice to me, I retaliated with something even not nicer just to retaliate without meaning. And the things went really downhill and just become angry with each other for nothing. So what I realized is if you belong to the same team, make the decision which will benefit the team, not individual or the group. So if other, your other partner in the team make the wrong decision and if you make the right decision, still the total result will be better than both of you making wrong decisions. And I have seen over and over again, after some iterations, your partner will realize automatically, you don't have to tell them, they will realize automatically that they are also in the same team. And eventually they will make the right decision for the team and the team will be better. <coughs> like in family example, I just said some moments back. <coughs> when you, your wife says something not nice to you, you say something nice to her, or do something nice to her, and she immediately will understand that you both are in a team, and the team is what, what it matters. And she will reciprocate with nicer things. <coughs> and this theory can be applied in many situations, like in your group and other group in the company. If you are working toward the same customer result, or um, some, any other result. <coughs> Don't do bad, bad things to other group and just try to maximize the team, team effort. <coughs> so by following this, <coughs> by following this, I've been following this since last no, November 2004. And it has worked in every instance, whether it is in my family or is it, is it in my work. And when you think that you are doing the right, right decision despite of what other party in the team is doing, then your stress level would go down significantly. So I would like to motivate you all to use this in your life too. And this is, I, I would like to make like little diagram and really draw the picture how the, the teams um, interact 
with each other, but due to lack of time, I can't do it. So if you need more information on, on this, please contact me personally, and our honored guests, who also happen to be my employees, I have shown them over and over again. Uh, so if you want more information, contact me, and I will try to explain, explain you in more detail. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters.